Hello and welcome to Engineer Simple. Part 2F of transformer test in zero sequence impedance for ground Y, ground Y without a delta. I'll be calculating the T model components. So from the previous videos, part 2, B, C, D, and E. So we calculated or we measured the zero sequence impedance obtained from test 1, test 2, and test 3, and test 4 which I'm going to summarize here. So test one was 49.51%, test two was 8.79%, test three was 58.75%, and test four was 11.26%. In one of the videos, I kind of showed this equation here, I kind of showed this derivation, so I would recommend watching that video if you are not unsure. So then, since they're equal, I'm just going to use this one here. Then really just plug in the numbers. Basically these here. So that's what I'm doing. So 49.5% uh, times 58.7% minus 11.26% times 49.51%, which comes to 48 0.49 percent then i have this equation here and i know from test one i got this value then i can calculate this here that's what i'm doing just rearranging i know this and i know this from the previous slide so this gives us 1.02 percent I also have this equation from test three, which equals this value. So I can calculate this just by rearranging this, this equation here, plug in the numbers, I get 10.26%. Note, sometimes this the zero sequence impedance of the low side can be negative. So here's the equivalent T model. So basically the T model, you know, you have the high side, that kind of the midpoint, then you have the low side, then you have the, the tertiary or the Y side. So for the H side, I got 1.02%. For the low side, I got 10.26%. For the Y, I get 48.49%. So these numbers are from this slides, basically. Because really, all this trouble we're going through is to calculate these values here. So now I'm going to compare. If you remember part one, I did the video on a grounded Y grounded Y with a delta or a buried delta winding. This video part two is just grounded Y, grounded Y. So basically in this part I did, so you have a grounded Y, this is the high side, this is the low side, and you also have a delta stabilizer winding. And this side I have a Y, grounded Y, a grounded Y, but I don't have this delta here. So that's the only difference. So using the same kind of transformer, the only thing that's really different is we don't have this delta in this transformer. So here's the T model I built for this transformer. So the high side zero sequence impedance is 9.92%. The X side is 3.26% and and this here was 3.26%. So notice when I had the delta, look at this value here, versus if I don't have a delta. So the delta basically you see it lowered this impedance. And that's one of the purposes why the this delta here is is uh, is included because you want to lower that impedance. So in a sense this here 
basically is 48. I mean, it's not huge, it's not infinite, but this can be thought of as, it's like it's open basically. It's like you have the side here, but it's open to ground. There is no, because it's it's a big impedance basically. So, so that's one conclusion. And keep in mind, when you take these two and you sum them up, it should be very, very close to the positive sequence impedance. So the sum of these two. So that's one, so two observations. So these, the sum of these two should be close to the positive sequence impedance. And when you have a delta, this impedance here will, will be very small compared to if you don't have a delta. This is true for core form. So three phase, three limb or three leg core form. If you have this in shell form, this here, and you don't have a delta, this will be very, very big. It will be kind of infinite, very, very, very big. It will be kind of open. It will, it will be like 5,000 or something like that percent. So it's very huge. But that's one of the reasons why you have the delta, so you can lower this, this uh, impedance. So just some notes here, IEEE 57.1290-2015. So this 1250 is the test code. And 2015 means it was published or approved in 2015. So what I call zero sequence impedance obtained from test one, that's what they call it. Same thing here. So it's, they mean the same thing, it's just, so like when I built the T model, so I called it H, X, <coughs> called it Y. So if you read, if you read the uh, isoplea, this might be one, Z3, something like that. But they mean the same thing. That was it for this video. So if you want to watch more videos, you can go to Engineer Simple. Thank you. Thank you and have a great time.